them, that's what they call me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have decided to do a little video of American English versus English English. English <laughs> English or the United Kingdom's English. Should be a fun video. Uh, Jacob's here with us and he speaks English. Proper English. <laughs> <laughs> so well, let's get this video started. In America we go to the bathroom. We go to the toilet. <laughs> There's a toilet in there, but we go to the bathroom. <laughs> Bars belong in the bathroom. Toilets belong in the toilet. Okay, so this is a backpack. It's a rucksack. No. <laughs> this would be a book bag. That's also a rucksack, because this is a book bag. <laughs> no, this is a folder. It's a book bag. You put books in it, and it's a bag. If you, put my, if you put my books in that, it'll break. This is like a man's, I don't know. Like a briefcase. <laughs> a briefcase is hard. Like it's a black. Yes, yeah, so this would not be a book bag. This would be a book bag. It's a rucksack. You wear it on your back. What does a rucksack even mean? You're going rocking in it? I feel like I should climb a mountain. What would you call this? I would call that a water thingy. <laughs> because until I lived in the UK, I didn't have one of these. It's a kettle. It's a kettle. Oh, yeah. I can see a bit of kettle. <laughs> but it's a water thingy. What would you call this? This would be a teapot. Okay, that's right. That is a teapot. Yes, it would be a teapot. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You have something which I have never seen before. <laughs> this. What? That this. Is, that's to eat your old food. Yeah, but I've never seen... We don't have those here. Oh, yeah? Like, I don't even know what you call it. This is a cooker. The this, whole thing is a cooker. This is a stove. This fits the stove. <laughs> this fits the oven. And this is the cooker. This is, I will agree this is an oven, but this is still a stove. Okay. This is a microwave. I'm sure this is a microwave. <laughs> okay. What would you call this? That's a fridge. Yeah, it's just a fridge. Okay. Nothing crazy. No, it's just a fridge. I have a first name and a surname. You have a first name and a last name. <laughs> and then sometimes I have a middle name, which I imagine is the same. Yes. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to take my dog out, I'll put it on a lead. Leash. You put it on a leash. <laughs> um, so, I don't have... When I, when I get a letter, it's post. Delivered by the postman. <laughs> That's kind of cute. When you get a letter, it's a letter or mail delivered by the mailman or the mail carrier. Um, if I'm doing sums, it's called doing maths. No. Math. <laughs> There's an S on the end of it. It's just math. <laughs> it's just math. Maths. Math. Um, Wait. Why <laughs> is there an S on that? Because it's mathematics. You don't say mathematic. You say mathematics as a subject. Still, it's just so doing it's math. Maths. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just saying mathematic. <laughs> as color is C O L O R. It has a U in it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Flavor does not have a Flavor U either. Flavor also has a U in it. <laughs> no, F A L V O R. No. Um, so, uh, my mum or mummy gave birth to me, or sometimes mother. My mom gave birth to me. <laughs> it's spelled with a U. It's spelled with an O. <laughs> um, if I'm going to the uh, cinema, I'm going to watch a film. Movie. If you're going to the Cinnabon? Cinema. Oh, cinema. Yes. We, yeah, we're, going, we're just going to the theater and watch a movie. Oh, if I'm going to go to the theater, it'll be a live performance. We also use that. <laughs> you can go to the theater, you just yeah. get dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so if I'm going to go buy a newspaper, I'll get it from a news agent. Oh, that sounds high tech. If I'm gonna buy a newspaper, I'm gonna go to gas the gas station <laughs> <laughs> or a box. <laughs> it's just the news box. Okay. If I need um, a painkiller, I'll go to the chemist or the pharmacist, pharmacy or something like that. If we need a painkiller, first of all, you gotta go to a doctor. <laughs> well, you can. Yeah, <laughs> it's just an example. <laughs> then you're gonna go to the pharmacy, okay. a chemist. A chemist is someone I picture like making. So, so like. Like in a it. well, yeah. I mean, I get where you got that word, but, but I would, would picture them it, in a science lab. So we would call it a chemist, but like, we're, I guess what you would call a drugstore, we would call a chemist. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's a drugstore. Uh, if I'm gonna go out and go out with my mates, if we're going out, you were going out with friends. <laughs> if you live with someone, like a friend or something, we would call that a flatmate. That's your roommate. roommate. <laughs> <laughs> but they might not live in your room. They might just live in your apartment or something. They're still your roommate or your roommate. Yes. It's then, just our roommate. He doesn't. He's not in my bedroom. Well, and, <laughs> and he's not flat because this is 
what flat means to us, so he would be your apartment buddy. <laughs> Gosh. Push pin. We would call it a push pin or thumb a tack, I guess. or a thumbtack. Yeah. Yes. Like I can't think of my own word. Uh, take a, like a kid out. You'd use a push chair or a buggy. A stroller. Yeah. A buggy is what yeah. you use in the grocery store. Um, if I'm gonna wash plates, I'm gonna turn the tap on. Faucet. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn the faucet on. <laughs> um, what else have we, what can I think of? Oh, you know when you've got food and you wrap it up when you want to save it for later, you do it in cling film. Do we just do it in clear wrap or... We would use cling film maybe, but it would just be more of clear wrap. Yeah. Plastic wrap. If I was gonna get food delivered, I'd be getting a takeaway. Take, a take out. out. <laughs> okay, so if I get out of the shower, I put a robe on. A dressing gown. Um, if you were going to play a game with like a checkered board with different colours like the red and black Yeah, checkers. Discs. Yeah, we call that drafts. <laughs> it's a game of drafts. It's checkers. <laughs> checkers. Um, if something costs a lot of money, we often say it's, it's dear. It's like, you know, you buy it. So it's expensive. expensive. We'd say, we do say expensive, but you say, oh, that's dear, is kind of how you describe like a, oh. a costly That reminds me of an animal. <laughs> <laughs> or my dear girl. Um, if someone, if you're playing a game of football and each team has one goal, it's a draw. You say a draw? Tie. Tie, yeah. we would say. You could also tie. say a draw, but we would say a tie. Yeah. Uh, if you leave the, uh, the last person in an office who cleans it up, we would call the caretaker. A caretaker would be somebody that takes care of your baby. We would call it the, um, <laughs> or an older person. We would call it a maid or a janitor. Yeah, we would use janitor, but I think caretaker is quite well used. Like when someone looks up a building or looks after, especially like a park, they're often called like a caretaker. A caretaker to us is someone that takes care of another human being. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have a fire in your kitchen, I'm going to call the fire brigade. We're just going to call the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when we play a sports game we put on our kit put our uniform yeah we put our uniforms um if i'm gonna sell a load of old stuff like outside or at a, an event we call it a jumble sale yard sale <laughs> yard sale a garage sale um if uh, someone has a cut we put a plaster on it band-aid yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um if I have, if I want to make a, a phone call and I don't have a phone, I'd use a phone booth or a phone box. Yeah, yeah, yeah phone booth, never yeah. a phone box. Um, we I don't really have those anymore though. I don't even know if any stateside even works. Yeah, there's not too many, is there? No. You barbecue, but I guess you guys would say grill, wouldn't you? Yeah, we would. Yeah. A barbecue would be an actual event if people were coming over, we're having like a barbecue party. Okay, but we would be use a grill to cook it. Um, if I'm gonna have toast, I'm gonna put jam on it. Jelly. Jelly. But jelly is like the dessert, the wobbly thing that you get. That will like be jello. Jello. <laughs> <laughs> jello. Um, oh, this one is a weird one. You might not know, but this is like on the vegetable line again. So we have a vegetable called a swede. I know what you guys call it, but I don't know. Americans call it a rutabaga. Oh. But that's a really odd one. Yeah. Did we actually do that? So if it was a zucchini, it would be a... a courgette. Eggplant. No, that's an aubergine. Yeah. And then like a massive courgette is a marrow. <laughs> I would be lost in the grocery store. <laughs> but they like they call their melons just like melon, don't you? No, we have loads of different types of melon. They do watermelon and... They like cantaloupe and honeydew. Yeah. And... I thought you would just call it melon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that was our video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Stick around. We've got plenty more coming your way. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, special shout-out to Jacob. Thank you for joining this video. <laughs> Bye.